when Musa alayhi salam sister when he was there in Sinai in my body and by the well do you remember and the two women were there the two girls with their sheep and you remember he watered the sheep for them you of course you remember don't you and then they were able to go home but when, he, when Musa Islam sat down underneath the tree and he prayed to Allah if you have any good for me please give me I need it I need it I need it O Lord and then from the distance one of the girls came one of the girls came back to meet him and she's alone and he's alone nobody else is there do you remember how Allah described how she was coming huh she was coming back in a state of bashfulness in a state of shyness hmm? but when the jazz women go out dress like men to work like men they lose their femininity they lose their femininity they become increasingly masculine the Quran describes the creation of the male and the female as synonymous to the creation of the night and the day where did it do that hmm? Where? In Surah Al-Layl. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا تَجَلَّى And by the night and that which it shrouds so mysteriously, so filled with splendor. And by the, the day and its bright light, penetrating light nothing covered nothing concealed that in the same way that Allah created the night and the day so too did Allah create the male and the female so Allah wants the night to remain night sister and Allah wants the day to remain day sister and when the night is night and when the day is day, look what happens. There is intense attraction between the two. And do you notice that when the day is approaching the night, what happens? It still happens in Islam. It's gone now in France and in Singapore and in United States and Britain. When the day is approaching the night, there is so much excitement that the sky is painted in a riot of colors. The sunset. The sunset is there as a sign of the excitement of the day as he approaches the arms of the night and when the day touches the night the day plunges into the night when last did you look at the sun setting beneath the sea that excitement has to be preserved and it can only be preserved when the day remains day and the night remains night. But the Jal says, no, <laughs> my night must become day. And so she loses her femininity. And so the attraction of the day for the night begins to wane, to become weaker and weaker. Until eventually the day is no longer so attracted to the night oh my that's going to be a problem now eh, sister are you listening then Allah's messenger said something more 
He said that men are going to dress like women. Now don't be angry with me, please, I beg you. Well, you can be angry during the lecture, but after the lecture over, we must be friends and drink some tetari. He said that men are going to dress like women. One more time, don't be angry with me. If a man has to dress like a woman, the first thing he has to do is to shave off his beard. I told you, don't be angry with me. If a man has to dress like a woman, the first thing he has to do is to shave off his beard. Do you know why Allah put the beard on the face of the male? It doesn't matter whether it's plenty here or a little bit of hair. Still, there's enough hair. Two reasons. The first is to be able to distinguish the male from the female. Huh? What's the second reason? So children can play with it. You didn't know that, eh? <laughs> you are violating the rights of your baby to play with your beard, eh? <laughs> so what's going to happen when men start dressing like women? And the attraction of the day for the night is becoming weaker and weaker. The Dajjal is going to rub his hands and say mission accomplished. Because now the day will get married to the day. And you have a marriage certificate. And the night will get married to the night and you'll have a marriage certificate. Sister. That is where modern Western feminist revolution is taking mankind. And we don't want to go that way. We who follow Muhammad want to go in a different direction. Where the attraction for the male and the attraction for the female must remain powerful. Powerful. So she's lost her femininity. But that's not all. She's also losing her fertility. She can't have babies. When you're trying to play being a man, something happens to your body. Allah wants that the woman should have her babies when she is young. When the body is young, and the body is youngest of all and best equipped of all to make babies after she has reached the age of puberty. That is the best time. You got to have peanuts in your head to tell me that the woman is better equipped to have a baby at 25 than at 15. I don't have peanuts in my head, excuse me. And all through history, women had their babies when they were 14 and 15 and 16 until the Jal took over. And now they're having their babies at 25 and 26 and 27. But then some of them can't have babies. Because the womb refuses to deliver a baby. And this is a problem because if I don't have a baby for him, he will take another woman what to do so you go to a place called a clinic fertility clinic and they're very expensive we're talking about a slave woman giving birth to her mistress eh? and you pay a large sum of money to become pregnant and all that you try but nothing works nothing works but remember, you earning a big income, you got a career, you got a BMW in the yard there. You're a modern woman, but you can't have a baby. I feel sorry for you, sister, I'm not laughing at you. So now guess what you do? You go to Indonesia, knock, knock, knock. Are you there? So the slave woman comes out. <laughs> and you make a contract with her. If you do it in New York, 
with an American woman that you take her to the clinic and your husband's sperm is injected into her egg hmm? so she can become pregnant with your husband's baby it's going to cost you 70,000 US you don't have that kind of money so you travel to Jakarta or to Bangladesh huh? and you get the slave woman knock, knock, knock and you make a contract with her and you only pay 7,000 so she goes to the clinic and the sperm is injected into the egg and she becomes pregnant Allah. she got a first class baby there inside of her she's a slave woman but for nine months she got to drink mineral water that baby should not get this polluted water eh? and for nine months no GM food eh? only the food that's served in five star restaurants got first class baby there and then the baby is born <laughs> and the mother is paid and the baby goes first class while the mother remains a slave <laughs>